Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap in today's video i am going to teach you how you can implement google recaptcha in your react js application you can implement this in any of your form like login form sign up form or maybe anywhere in your react js application where you want so without any delay let's start Okay, first of all, you can see that I have set up a React Chess project in my local host. Next, you need to open the Google and search here React Google Recaptcha and NPM. You will see this website. Open this. The website name is npm.js and we need to install this package to our project. You can simply copy this command npm i react google recaptcha. Open your project, open your terminal and paste this here like this. It will install this package to your project. Next, uh, scroll down. You need to import this recaptcha as you import other components in your React.js. And next, again, if you can see here, this is how we will use this component. I will simply copy and paste this like this. Uh, we need to generate a site key. And I will also tell you that how to handle when users successfully uh, fill out the recaptcha okay so first of all let me run my application so i can show you the output npm run dev and i need to open this link okay there is an error in our site and that is we need to define this on change method here so first of all i will type here const on change is equal to and like this uh value console dot log and here i will paste this value here now let me refresh okay so you can see that the initial user interface of google recaptcha is displaying on our site there is an error uh, i will show you how to resolve this error now you need to open the google and open this open account here for example and here you need to type here google recaptcha okay uh, you will simply type here and you will open this google recaptcha website uh, you will see this user interface then you need to click on this v3 admin console you will click on it okay so maybe if you are using this first time it will ask you to log in with a google account uh, you just need to log in and then i will click on create button you can see that okay so this plus icon and so first of all we need to define a label for, for i'm i'm going to define a label like fine gap uh, recapture and ignore the spending mistake if i made anyone and here we have recapture challenges so i'm going to select this challenge uh, which will only display i am not a robot uh, you can also select this like score based but i'm going to select this i am not a robot checkbox and here you need to define your domain name your website name for example you have a website name findgap.com you can define here so in my case our website is just a local host so simply i will type here local host but you need to define here your actual domain name of your website on which you are going to deploy your website and then uh, simply i'm going to click on the submit button okay you can see that it it have provided me two keys the first one is site key and the second one is copy security secret key so first of all i am going to talk about this copy site key i will simply copy this open your visual studio code and inside this attribute you need to remove this string and paste this key here okay now if we will open uh, our application and you can see that that error is gone okay so now we need to talk about this on change method uh, we can call this on success for better understanding so what does it means when your user will successfully complete the recapture this method will be called okay so maybe you can define a state here to handle this you can define a state let me define for your ease uh, capture status set capture status is equal to u state and initially we will define its value false but for example if this method called means if a uh, user successfully uh, complete this captcha what you can do you can set this uh, you can use this method uh, set captcha status to true okay and now uh, for example you have a login form maybe you have login fields your input fields like enter your name and after this maybe you have a button which will say uh, submit okay you can see that we have input field let me zoom in and we have this google recaptcha and then for example you have this submit button what you have to do when you will submit your form you need to simply check this either its value is true or not and when its value become true when this function will be called 
and when this function will be called when your user will successfully completed this recapture let me show you uh, currently you can see on the uh, right side this is my console i am going to zoom in and when i will click here i am not a robot you can see that uh, the method is called and it is also providing me this uh like secret key you can call it a key or something like that. you also need to uh, save this let me for example this is a key basically you also need to save this key in a state for example uh, let me also name this a uh, key or you can secret key you can call it whatever you want okay and i'm going to copy and paste this and you can see that i have defined a second state and here let me define this a key and set key obviously i will simply use this function to save this key in a state so basically now you can see that uh when you will submit your form you will simply check either it's true or not but this key you need to send uh, this key with your form data in your backend uh this is up to you either you want to do backend authentication or not but uh, in this video i will just give you a little bit clue that how you will also do the backend authentication we simply save our key inside this state when you will submit your form let me open the page here and uh, for example you are submitting your form uh, you have your form data like your name maybe or a father name password etc and you will also send it this key as well okay so this is basically your form data you have sent your name your second parameter your third parameter like password and you're also sending your key uh, basically this is your form data form data and you are sending this to a server let's suppose this is our server okay so now i'm going to show you a code this is how you will uh, authenticate this key in the backend uh, I'm just showing you an example of uh, Node.js. So this is a REST, REST API, which is built with Node and Express. Uh, you will simply, you can call this a CAPTCHA token. Okay, maybe you can, here we were calling this a key. You can also call this a key CAPTCHA token, whatever you want. Okay, for your ease, let me name this CAPTCHA token. Okay, CAPTCHA token and simply uh, set CAPTCHA token. And now you have received the CAPTCHA token in the backend on your server from request body. And this is the secret key that will provide to you by google and now you will uh, create this url www.google.com forward slash recaptcha api and site verify you can also pause this video and type this url or you, you may have uh, found this verification url from the internet and here you need to pass two parameters the first one the first one is your secret key that will google will provide to you and the second one will be a captcha token okay now simply you will uh, create an api call and and you will get response and this is how you will check that either your captcha is uh, your captcha token is validated or not and uh, then you can perform your further operation on the backend so friends uh, this was the method that how uh, we can implement a Google recapture on your ReactJS application and for more strong authentication you can also perform backend verification either user uh, have filled true recapture or not so I hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section I will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching